Hey guys, welcome back to Turok Evolution. In the last part, we just finished up, um, I mean, we're not finishing it up, um, we're at the tail end of Chapter 3 here, and in this part, they slap you in the face again with your spawn position, because they freaking spawn you in the middle of a saber tooth tiger den. Or maybe not a tiger, but the cat. I prefer tiger, just because it sounds cooler. But they're not really tigers, since they don't have stripes or anything. Anyway, uh, your shotgun is probably going to be your best weapon for it here, just because they do cover up quite a bit of space. And with the shotgun, you can really cover a wide area in front of you. And um, the shotgun can fire really quickly, which is also really good, because when you shoot these guys, um, they, like, fly back a little bit. Or they don't, like, fly back, but they certainly move back a bit. So, uh, what, what was that all about? Um, the only other weapon I could think of that would be better to kill these guys would be actually the pistol, because, you know, you fire really quickly compared to the shotgun. But it would also be weaker and it would take longer, so the shotgun's still probably your best bet. So here's the really big one. Jeez. Um, he's got two more. There's one. Alright, um, so just go ahead and kill the others that are in here, and then, um, you'll be pretty much out. You'll be out of the cave. See, right there is your exit. But, if you didn't get the rocket launcher in the last video, or the last area, if you didn't want to risk your life trying to get it, you can get another one right there. Now, since there's another rocket launcher right there, it gives you a full clip of ammo, gives you all five rockets. So I'm going to go ahead and just show off the rockets now. Because, you know, I didn't really get a chance to the last time. This is like the most destructive rocket launcher I've ever seen in any shooter. Like, screw the Halo rocket launcher, because this thing fires one big rocket, and then it also fires two, two or three more little rockets that also go, like, in the same direction. So if you can aim it just right, like if you can aim it at a large group of enemies, you can probably get, like, five or six kills with just one rocket, or even maybe more, because you're dealing with so much splash damage. But anyway, let's get back to using our trusty shotgun here. And let's just keep on going down these cliffs. So yeah. Anyway, I think it'd be kind of cool if the levels were actually reversed, but the destination was still the same. Like you come up this way and you go through the saber tooth tiger den, and at the end of the last, at the end of that second part of this chapter, you fight the T-Rex, and that'd sort of be like a mini boss. That would be cool, you know. But this works too. Um, let's Come on, just die. The shotgun guys are a little bit harder to kill than the regular green guys with the little guns, the little rifles. So you need to be careful with them. I also need to keep watching my health. I'm getting close to death. Anyway, uh, there's health packs scattered all over the place, so you'll probably be fine, just as long as you're at least somewhat accurate with your guns and everything. Anyway, here comes one of my favorite parts of this level, except for the very end, because it's awesome. Um, Right up here, once I kill these two guys, die. Um, right here, you get this huge freaking gun that you get to shoot. It's awesome. So, yeah, let's get to firing. Now, there's going to be enemies coming from both sides, so you're going to need to watch out. So, yeah. Okay, just keep shooting them. You should probably check each side just to be sure. Headshot! Uh, Double kill! Yeah, Jeez, uh, man. Triple Stop kill! throwing words all over the place, man. Jeez. Ugh. You know what? From now on, I'm just, I'm gonna try to ignore you. Although it'll still probably scare me a little bit, but whatever. Gosh. Do any of you guys find that annoying? I mean, am I the only one here that finds it really jarring and off-throwing? Crap. Thought I was done. Alright, uh, get back on the gun. But this gun is really kind of fun to use because you're almost totally safe while you're doing this. No matter what side they're coming from, you're almost safe no matter what. Because it, the gun is so big that um, it almost acts like a shield. So that even though like they could be shooting like right in front of you and they make it in between the gun barrels, but it's still stopped by like you know the gun still. It's like the hit detection is weird on the gun itself. So it can act like a shield, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, just keep on going through this area. 
And then we're near the end of this level, which is nice because I want to get done with chapter 3 already. Even though it is one of my favorite chapters, just because. It's the first instance of really good combat in this game. Anyway, oh, what the heck? The screen went so blue I can barely see. Now, you want to kill these guys before you go around this corner. So, yeah. Now what you want to do is get your rockets out. And then jump around the corner. And watch out for that thing. That thing has dual rockets mounted on its back. So, watch out. And if you get close to it, then it'll like swing its tail around and smack you in the face. So, that's about the end of Chapter 3. So, I'll see you in the next part where we take on Chapter 4. So, see you later.